So I've got something slightly different today. I went spearfishing with Joe Pike and his mate Cameron. Portland is a famous place to go fishing, diving and spearfishing. And it has been for a long time and there's lots of information out there. So I'm going to show you on a map, which I have in front of me, where we went and how the day unfolded. So this is Portland. It's surrounded by some fairly deep water. You might recognise Portland Bill, Church Oak Cove and Chesil Cove. And that's part of Chesil Beach. And in behind is Portland Harbour. We launched Joe's boat in the harbour and the conditions were looking really good above and below the water. So we set off and went down the east side of Portland. We did a series of dives down the east side, but we couldn't really find any fish. So we went to the bill and we went straight off the end of the bill to the ledges. So there's big areas of rock that are covered in mussels and there's lots of current, so it attracts a lot of fish. We dived from about 12 metres down to 25 or so where we fell off the edge. Some pretty dangerous currents here, so you do need to be careful if you want to do this yourself. The lads jumped in and they were straight into fish. So I was pretty keen to get in the water and thankfully Joe very kindly uh, got in the boat and sat in the boat while I went spearfishing. As I dropped down there were thousands and thousands of black bream surrounding me. They weren't big but they were over the minimum legal take size and uh, they make great eating. So I was trying to pick out the very biggest um, bream out of the shoals. So when I dropped down I tried to find some kind of cover, some sort of dip, something that would allow uh, the fish to get close to me without really seeing me. And I was also letting a lot of the bream swim past me to see what would be following in behind. Maybe gilt head, maybe bass, nothing as it turned out, but at least I tried. three times on the day. One was out of range, the second one was a good old-fashioned miss and the third time I hit my target. So that's where most of the spear fishing happened on the day. We then went over to the Shambles, which is a big sandbank and used to turn up a lot of big flatfish. But we couldn't find any, so we went back to Portland, made our way back to the breakwater. By this stage, I'd lost one of my carbon fins. I'd, my ears block up and I'd take on a bit of salt water and was ill. So I didn't really do much diving, but the guys put a few fish in the boat and then we called it a day and went home. Thank you for watching my video. I want to say thanks to Joe for coming over to Portland. I had a really good time. He's made an excellent account of the day and I'll put a link to his video up there somewhere if you haven't seen it already. 
I'll put a link to some of my videos over there. And if you want to see more of my videos, I'll put a subscribe button up here. Um, so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.